Julia had always enjoyed the peace and solitude of her home office. Working remotely allowed her the luxury of setting her own schedule and avoiding the daily commute. However, afternoons became the perfect opportunity for her to stretch her legs, clear her mind, and take a stroll through the nearby park. Yesterday, however, something changed. As she walked along the winding path, Julia couldn't shake the feeling that someone was following her. Every time she turned around, she caught glimpses of a stranger several yards away, always quietly observing her. Her paranoia started to grow, transforming her usual relaxing walks into anxiety-filled bouts of fear. Determined to put her apprehensions to rest, Julia decided to confront the stranger. She deliberately walked down a detour path, hoping to lose them, but somehow, the mysterious figure always managed to find her. Panic settled in, and Julia felt trapped. Returning to her apartment, exhausted and fearful, Julia found her door ajar. Her heart raced, her mind spun with thoughts of intrusion and danger. Summoning all her courage, she cautiously pushed the door open, ready to face whatever awaited her inside. To her surprise, the apartment appeared undisturbed, yet her unease lingered. Did her attacker still lurk nearby, just waiting for the right moment? Julia swiftly swept through each room, ensuring her safety, before finally allowing herself to exhale. As the days went by, Julia became increasingly determined to discover the identity of her stalker. She reported the incidents to the police, but without any real evidence, they could do little to help. Time and again, she caught glimpses of the man, always in the distance, watching her with an unsettling intensity. One evening, on her way back from the grocery store, Julia found herself face to face with her tormentor. Heart pounding, she demanded answers. Who are you? Why are you following me? With an unsettling calmness, the stranger replied, I'm sorry, Julia. It wasn't my intention to cause you fear. The familiarity in his voice sent a shiver down her spine. You see, I'm a private investigator, hired by your late father. I've been watching over you to ensure your safety. Confusion and relief mingled in Julia's mind. Her father had passed away a few months ago, but she had no idea he had hired a private investigator. Why? What are you protecting me from? The stranger hesitated before answering. Your father was involved in some dangerous business dealings. He felt it necessary to protect you from the fallout of his actions. I've been gathering evidence, trying to unravel the truth, and keep you safe. Julia's fear transformed into a mix of gratitude and curiosity. As she absorbed the information, she realized that her paranoia had clouded her judgment. Apologizing for her accusations, she allowed the private investigator to explain further, finally feeling a glimmer of understanding in the face of her fear.